Our Sustainable Seafood Program is all about improvement. Improving the health of our oceans by improving the way we use our oceans. And that's why we actually see this as being a program which rewards, encourages and guides the seafood industry to move towards sustainability. I want to be cooking for a long time and I want my children to be able to eat fresh fish for a long time. So if we catch a quota system that can be reproduced quickly and we're eating species that are reproducing quickly, we can all eat fresh fish. The huge issue with sustainability is that everybody's got something to say. The independency of the ACF is, is great because it gives us somewhere to go to decipher what is fact and what is fiction. Initially it was all about you know uh, profit, uh, how much you could catch, how much you could sell, but uh, uh, about the last 10, maybe 15 years, a lot more emphasis was put on uh, ensuring that we leave the industry as well as what we found for future generations and future fishers. Uh, the general public seem to be moving more towards uh, fresh wild catch sustainable type fishing um, and if we can get the tick of approval from this ACF uh, then it's a, it becomes a win-win situation for us. In my, I'm fourth generation fisherman, my son's a fifth. In, in my situation I, I don't take my fish to the market, I sell my fish directly to the public. We've got a, a shop in Port Melbourne, we've had it there for years, we're, we're pretty well known and um, what we'll do, uh, we get up roughly two, three o'clock in the morning and we go out catch, uh, catch and snapper, which is we catch on the long line. And uh, we usually arrive home about 10 or 10, between 10 and 10.30. Usually have 40 or 50 people waiting out the front and they, uh, they know quite well what the quality of the fish is. The sustainability or the looking after of the product is imperative to the in quality of the eating. We want to look after the fish as it comes out of the water, to the way it's processed, to the way it's packed, and so the patron can have an amazing experience. The process of assessment we have is unique in several ways. Firstly, we uh, have an independent scientific panel composed of volunteer scientists. Uh, the criteria we use are quite rigorous and detailed, and we only use publicly available information um, for those assessments. The other thing, rather than assessing a species, which could be caught all around Australia using a dozen different fishing methods with different sustainability. We've honed in on seafood products. So we actually go to an area and pick a seafood product and work with the producers right there and then. So it really has a lot of local applicability. What rang our bells with this seafood project is uh, the fact that there has been an awful lot of work put in and a lot of voluntary time as well to get the methodology behind the project absolutely right so that they could then have the criteria to go off and assess seafood products from different areas. But there's three things that go into any good philanthropic project as far as I'm concerned, time, treasure and talent. You clearly had the time and you clearly had the talent with the seafood project, but it was very much in need of more treasure to push it to a point where more and more products could be assessed and therefore to build up the critical mass so that you, you, we, you, know, you would hope that in the future it would get to the stage where a consumer can walk along and go, ah, that one's from there, I'll buy that. It's sustainable. In a very competitive industry with imports flooding in, any competitive advantage that a local producer gets, uh, for instance, um, being able to be chosen by consumers due to sustainability, gives it the edge and we, we're hoping what happens is those type of uh, products are taken on board and others can then join them and eventually maybe a snowball effect happens and sustainability is a real key word in consumer choice.